Hey guys, Nate Meets World today here in Guadalajara in the northern part of the city and we're going to explore Barranca de Hue Titan, the canyon. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I took the bus to get up here, a 603A from the central area for about 7 pesos. And now we're going to do some exploring. We got the sign right behind me, so uh, let's go. One quick note before we get going, this canyon has a depth of around 600 meters, a length of 300 kilometers, and it's also known as the Oblatos Canyon and became a protected area June 5th, 1997. So let's get exploring. Really nice view right off the bat, and we're gonna head down into the canyon area. This is mostly what the trail's been looking like so far, pretty rocky but well marked. Uh, not much to see or film right here, but it looks like it's gonna be some great views at the bottom. got some cactus on the trail there and then we got this great view of the canyon down there just beautiful we're almost at the bottom of the canyon check out these views wow we're pretty much at river level now and now we got this long strip here I think we can uh, walk up and down and explore different areas spot. Now we've come across this bridge right here and I think it means we're pretty close to the waterfall so just keep going down that pathway. There's the waterfall behind that tree. I don't know if there's any way you can get close to it but it does smell uh, pretty bad over here. There's the bridge and it's in a beautiful spot. So the name of this bridge is Puente Arcediano. The original bridge was torn down in 2005, but they made a reconstruction of it in January 2013, uh, which pretty much looks exactly like it and close to the original site. And we got some fantastic views of the canyon right here. Okay, I reached the point where the funicular rounds, and it seems like around us there's a bunch of abandoned houses and then we got all these dogs right here a few of them tried to run after me but one of the guys shooed him away so I'm guessing we're pretty close to somewhere uh, it is a little kind of weird feeling here with all the abandoned houses okay after that uh, interesting incident we've come over to this open area of the canyon probably walk a little bit farther keep exploring before I turn around okay I've come to this point of the trail here pretty decent view then you got the damn waterfall there and it smells kind of funny. And then the trail kind of turns up here and I think I'm just gonna follow this trail up back to the top. Okay, we got this nice view of the canyon and I think we were all the way over there before. So, decent view of the river. And now I think we're gonna dive into that way and uh, hike back up. Let's go. Okay, so this trail led to the funicular. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, climb up part of it uh, to get back, I guess, to the main part of the trail, so I don't think that'll be fun. <laughs> Holy crap, that was going to be the steepest climb I do in a while. Now will we uh, connect back to the trail up there. Okay, I'm back up here on the main trail. I definitely don't want to go up that, but uh, going to make our way back up. See you guys at the top. Man, I'm pretty wiped out, but that pretty much just wraps it up uh, here at the canyon. You got the beautiful view behind me where I was below. The whole hike in total took me about uh, four and a half hours. It was about an hour and ten minutes to get down, and then another couple hours walking around. And then that funicular really wiped me out, but I managed to uh, get back up again pretty quick. But again, yeah, I highly recommend coming out here, and you especially get a good workout as well. Again, it's seven euros. Uh, sorry, seven pesos each way for the bus to get up here. And it's uh, if you do drive up here, it's 15 pesos for parking. But yeah, what a view. Uh, great day and uh, yeah, good first hike uh, to uh, introduce myself to Mexico. But that'll just about wrap it up. Hope I encourage you guys to explore your local area because you never know, you might have beautiful canyons like this uh, behind me. And you're never too young or too old to go hiking. We live in a beautiful world. Go explore it. Peace. Nos vemos.